As you can understand, it shows how serious KIPP is about education. As I said earlier, the adults here that work here, they already know that <clears throat> they already know that education is the key for you to control your own destiny. I'm sure that you guys have heard about the unemployment rate from your parents, your aunties, your uncles, or somebody around here. And right now, that might not be important to you, or even me in college, and I, so, or even me in college, because I'm in school and I don't worry about getting a job. But just to give you another stat or fact, the national unemployment rate at the end of May 2012 was 8.2 percent. Now, based off of the education level, here are some more numbers that you might just want to pay attention to. For people with no high school diploma or a GPA or a GED, their unemployment rate was 13 percent. High school graduates with no college experience were at 8.1 percent. If you had went to college or achieved an associate degree, it dropped down to 7.9%. And those with a bachelor degree or higher, they sit at a, a smooth 3.9%. Now, I'm a senior in college. This time, make sure I'll be a college graduate. Now, I could easily drop out and say it's too much and be done right now. And I would actually fall into the club of 7.9%. 7 but if I stay the course and finish out one more year, my percentage drop down 4%. Easy. So, I need you to continue to cooperate with your education today. Because today it will allow you to hold that future that you want to belong to you. A lot of people rely on tomorrow, but in reality, tomorrow never comes. And a lot of people also like to live in their yesterdays. But that day is gone. <clears throat> we can do nothing about tomorrow or yesterday because we will never see them. So we might as well quit wasting our time and everybody else to make it happen today. Despite what you've done in the past, you have to give your best efforts today in order to be able to get the results you want in the future. The real world only cares about results, and in some cases, don't care how they get them. Now, I had a conference call with Mr. Williams and Mrs. Bailey a couple weeks ago. And Mrs. Bailey, she said, Tony, we got you here because you're a young man, because usually we have somebody about 50, 60 years old come putting our students to sleep. <laughs> so one of the reasons we picked you is because you're young and you look like our students. <laughs> and she said, hey, I want them to see that they can be young and be successful because I think you're a pretty successful man to be 20 years, of age, 20 years of age. So I said, thank you, Ms. Bailey. <laughs> and what she said was to just talk to them just a little bit about how you did it, or what they should look for in that person. And like I said, this is not about me, so I'm not about to tell you anything about me personally. But I'm just going to kind of help young ladies and young men know that you're here now achieving your quality education. So when it comes to finding that young man or young lady, you need to make sure that they're trying to achieve that quality education just like you are. I was in middle school, I was in high school. I know all the peer pressure. I, I, was, a, I was a high school athlete, posted in the big man on campus. And like I say, you guys are about to go off to those halls of high school, and it's gonna be a different experience for you. Everybody's not gonna be as nice as your friends here or the teachers here at KIPP Academy, because everybody at KIPP is trying to get you to the top. In high school, like I, it's, it's different, it's another taste of the real world. But I just wanna let you guys know that, ladies, when you're looking for that man, Sagging is not cute. I haven't been on too many job interviews, but I think it's pretty hard to get a job walking in there sagging. I don't have a problem with the dreads. I had some back in the back when I was in high school. I know it's funny to believe, but I did. <laughs> but just make sure the dreads are neat. And I'm not gonna pick on my lady. Hey, fellas, if that lady, she care more about, you, you, about the money that you got and everything like that, hey, leave her alone because she don't care about you. She only cares about your money. <laughs> so when you lose that money, I'm just going to let you know, you're probably going nine times out of ten, you're probably going to lose that girl too. 
So, like I say, find somebody that you see potential in, as much potential, if not more, that you see in yourself. Find somebody that's going to help you achieve your goals. Interview those people. Ask what they want to do in life. What they're kind of, what they're trying to go to college. What they're trying to do. I know that there are other students out there, other schools that you guys are friends with, and I'm just going to say this: if the guy or the female that you're not, that you're trying to talk to, if they're not in that classroom with you or another classroom somewhere in the city, you shouldn't be talking to them. I know the drug dealers and everybody got your money and everything like that, but what kind of lifestyle is it living, looking over your shoulder for the cops or somebody coming that you owe money or you owe weed to? I'm going to say this and I'm going to get out your way. Um, I'm a male, so I have a girlfriend. I wasn't trying to go there, but <laughs> Mr. Williams said it all. But I said that to say, I'm from Augusta, Georgia, 20 years old. I never flew in my life. I flew out to Kansas City um, yesterday afternoon, and I brought my girlfriend with me. She flew out. She flies out of town. She's from Omaha, Nebraska, raised in Atlanta, so she flies out of town. People back home in school was like, take pictures of her. I know we're going to be scared on the airplane, da, 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 da. <laughs> But the reason I bring her into this is because she has those same goals that I have. Amen. She wants to do something with her life. She's in college with me. And she wanted to come here to support me. And there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. So find somebody that supports you. But her being here wanting to support me for her doing this speech and everything and know how nervous I was, that's not why I'm grateful or glad that she came. Having her beside me on that plane tell me, baby, it's going to be all right. She ain't got to be worried about nothing. <laughs> that's why, honestly, that's why I brought her on this trip. <laughs> that's the only reason I brought her on this trip. Because I know she had that flight experience. Hey, and if I, if I act like a big baby, she wasn't going to tell nobody, probably my mom, my dad, and my little sister, but, and that's cool. But, young ladies, young, young gentlemen, I just ask that, remember the theme of this ceremony, with the quality education, your future belongs to you. I hope you got something from this today, and once again, to everyone here, thank you for this opportunity. God bless.